What's going on everybody? Chip Walton. Check this out. Charlie's getting a little piece of burger. It's Chip Walton. This is another tailgate burger date. I'm here with the lovely Elsa Walton. Jonas is in here eating, eating a napkin. Uh-oh. That's no way to start a video, buddy. Uh-oh. No, not too yucky, but... Hey, we're going to start that all over. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chop and Brew Tailgate Burger Date. I'm here with Elsa Walton. We're here with Jonas Walton, he and I are decked out in our Alabama game day attire. Roll Todd, y'all. Tailgate burger date. Today we stopped in Northeast Minneapolis at Dipton Debris. It's a place that makes awesome sandwiches and burgers and custardy ice cream treats. Uh, it also bills itself as a root beer museum. As you can see, besides cool burgers, they have a plethora of root beer so Elsa and I each got a different root beer and then we uh, it's on a really busy street Central Avenue in Northeast it would not make a very enjoyable tailgate burger date ambiance so we pulled up the a uh, few blocks up the street off Lowry we're in Wyndham Park and thank goodness you know this could actually be called uh, what do you call it? hatchback burger date but it really doesn't have the same kind of ring because this is a Subaru but the hatchback as you can see is doing it doing good work of keeping us dry on a drizzly day so the burger is called brass tacks it's a double patty with cheddar cheese a lot of pickles as you can see man the top is uh covered with bacon and pickles like shingles and tiles on a rooftop <laughs> chopped <laughs> cooked onions you can hear jonas is very excited about the bacon and the pickles once again we came here for a burger date uh, about a month ago and got they call it the burger of the minute or the burger of the moment and the burger of the moment that weekend was called big tax so it's basically this burger but uh kind of big mechified that had thousand island dressing uh or they call it the special sauce their own special sauce and that was a messy messy burger what's nice about this as much stuff is on it i'm not saying it's dry as in it's like dry bad but it's a dry burger like you bite into it stuff doesn't just like avalanche out of it everything is keeping like each bite you get a little bit of each and you kind of chisel pac-man your way through the burger so very good um what about these root beers also we got i got one called oak creek and you know the beer nerd in me was like what it says blonde barrel aged root beer y'all craft beer ain't the only thing doing barrel aging 25 percent brown sugar 75 percent real sugar is what they call it real sugar and it's cool it's not as like overly sweet as a lot of root beers it's got kind of this like mm. i don't know why i want to say old-fashioned but just like an old-fashioned kind of cleaner blonde is a great word for it it's got that root beer spicing but it doesn't taste like overly sweet and caramelized Elsa, what you got? You got that frosty root beer. Mm -hmm. It's got a picture of Santa Claus on it or something. A gnome, a root beer gnome. How's it taste? It's good. It's not too sweet. Tastes like marshmallows. Ooh, that marshmallow Sweetie. root beer. Now I feel like I have to say something more intelligent about this one. It really just tastes like light brown sugar and some of those classic root beer spicings. Mm. Mm. Sassafras. Or sarsaparilla, not sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla. I don't know what sarsaparilla <laughs> is. Just very enjoyable. It doesn't sit as heavy. The barrel, I don't know if I get the barrel. I guess it is. It's kind of, it's got this like woody kind of drying finish, whereas a lot of root beers definitely don't have a dry finish. If anything, they just sit really sweet and heavy. So, Northeast Minneapolis, dipped in debris. The guy was super nice and brought an order out to us because we had a baby and a dog. And we're just looking for a place to post up on the way back to St. Paul today. Two thumbs up for show. Delicious. Elsa's like still working on hers. I, I, I mowed through mine. Here y'all, I'm gonna let y'all enjoy the last bite with me. Oh yeah, one more thing before we wrap up this tailgate burger date report. Shout out to MSP Burgers. If y'all are on Facebook, especially if you live in Minnesota, get on that MSP Burgers group. And uh, it's just a fun place. People post pictures of burgers, uh, suggestions pop up whenever like a food truck that's awesome at Burgers is maybe in one place or another. You might find something in your area that you didn't even know was there. 
but you can lean on that group you can say like hey where's the burger at in edina where's the burger at in st louis park or what's you know and they'll point you in the right direction msp burgers gotta get this baby some real food instead of just plastic cups and jugs yeah your son we will say he did get some pickles and a little bit of burger so jonas two thumbs up roll time baby roll time suckers <laughs> he did a little burp. <laughs>